The rocket-powered car trying to hit 1,000 mph makes its world debut for a car, cracking 210 mph on a runway, in between the planes using a small but operational airport, seems like an impressive day at work. And while it is an important milestone for the team behind Bluehound SSC, it's also a measly feat compared to the ultimate goal, driving faster than the speed of sound and reaching speeds north of 1,000 mph. On Thursday, the Bloodhound SSE that for supersonic car made its public debut, proving it can indeed hustle over a couple of runs at Newquay Airport in Cornwall. The British-built, plane car hybrid is designed to smash the current land speed record of 763 mph, set in 1997. The driver who hit that number, Andy Green, a Royal Air Force fighter pilot, is back at the wheel for this effort. These early tests are really just proof that all the assembled systems, from steering to brakes, work properly, and to give the team the necessary confidence to push for higher speeds. Right now, the car's power comes from a jet engine more commonly found on the Eurofighter military plane. The team thinks that L be good enough to top 600 mph, but they want more. So they drafted NAMO, a Norwegian company, to build a couple of rockets they will strap under the jet engine. A single rocket should get them close to 800 mph, and claim the speed record. Then they L use the cluster of three rockets for the 1000 mph attempt, giving a whole new meaning to ludicrous acceleration.